Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow with more crypto gains and gains are what we're talking about tonight. Specifically, locking in your gains with your BTT token. So, as a lot of you know, BTT is all the rage and everyone thinks that it's just going to go up, keep going up, which it may and it may not. Um, as I posted in my video earlier, I think that it will have a big sell-off right after the airdrop, but we will have to see. Looking at the chart on Binance, um, it's trading sideways. It's um, seemed to find some support. If you look at the line, it could touch down to 25, but we're holding pretty steady on the MA25. But really, there's not enough data to um, make a super good call about that. So what I want to talk about tonight is um, how do you lock your gains in and make sure that you don't sell too soon? So this is a problem. A lot of times, it's going up, it's going up, you pull the trigger, and then you miss the top. Well, it's not even about getting the top. It's about locking in a solid amount of gains, um, you know, close to where the token loses its momentum. In order to do this, you do what's called a trailing stop. So let's look at a trailing stop definition. A trailing stop is a special type of order where the stop loss price is not set to an absolute dollar amount. Um, or a certain dollar amount below market price. When the price goes up, it drags the trailing stop along with it. So what does this mean? This means that maybe, okay, so right now we're sitting at 27 sats. Maybe um, it, it'll go to 30 sats. Well, the problem is you don't know where to put your order in before it comes crashing down. So to do this, you have to do what's called a trailing stop. So when you basically you put in a price but that price continues to change the price that you sell at continues to change so if the equity or token keeps going up your sell price changes dynamically now looking at Binance and you look at all these exchanges most exchanges do not repeat do not support a trailing stop we have a stop limit so what I can do with a stop limit is I could put in I say okay if it hits 25 sell okay that's great but what if I'm not at my computer and it continues to go up right maybe I want that stop price that's the price that the token and order gets put in to sell um, maybe you want that price to move. So, as I said, most exchanges don't support the trailing stop. Well, I was doing a little research into this and I found a great way around it. There is a site called trailingcrypto.com. Now, what is trailing crypto? Trailing crypto uses your API, which is kind of like your backdoor to your exchange, your API key and it allows you to place trailing stop orders. So pretty simple. Um, there really is no sign up process. If you have a Google account, you can just log in with Google. And I actually have two factor on on this. So okay, let's put that in. Okay, boom. All right. So now I'm into trailing crypto dot com so this site basically will manage your order and um, it allows you to put a trailing stop so they have all kinds of different cells stop trailing stop sell trailing stop buy meaning if it crashes down so why would you want to do some of these orders well number one when you put an order in everyone sees that order with this the order doesn't go in until it hits your stop or activation price. So, for instance, let's say that I wanted a trailing stop sell. Okay, so I'm going to put in um, a couple different things here. So, entry price, that's optional. So, let's say, let's just pretend that I bought the BTT 
at, um, let's actually go to BTT first, okay? Let's say that I put in, I, I bought it today at 28 sats, so I'm going to put 28 sats in, okay? Actually, you got to put all the zeros in here, One, two, three, four, five, six. so 0.123456, 28, okay? Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, I'm going to hit 100%. I got $2.76 in BTT. I'm rich. Um, okay, <laughs> not really. So, let's say that I do not want to lose more than 5% of my of value. So, if it keeps going up, the price that it sells at will continue to travel as the price of the token goes up. So let's put an offset of 10%. So meaning, if BTT drops from any given point more than 10%, and the buy, this buy price is your initial 10%. Um, so 10% of the 28 sats would be about 2.8 sats. So that would put, it would activate at around I don't know, 25, 26, right? So that means if all of a sudden this thing dropped down to 25, 26, I w it would automatically sell for me. So let's submit that order. Uh -huh, let's see. Oh, it's because it doesn't like that. So do 27. Okay. All right. Boom. Trailing stop sell, 2940 BTT. The current price, I, it, I had to go one sat below 27, offset 10%. And you're like, well, dude, this is really confusing. How do you know what percent to use? Well, that's really easy, actually. I created a spreadsheet just for BTT. All right. So. This is getting, this is where it gets really cool, and I'll leave a link down on Google Drive to share this. Um, it's all dynamic. So, let's say that the current price was 30 sats, and actually, you know what? I am going to insert. I'm going to make this go down a little bit as well, just so we have a little of that. I'll copy the formulas. All right, okay. Auto fit. All right, so let's go back. Okay, so we're at 27 sats, right? That's the base price of the BTT. If I put my stop in at 10%, go over here to the 10% as an example, that means the activation price would be 24 sats. So back to this. So what this says is that if all of a sudden this drops down to 24 sats, I will limit the amount of my loss because it could crash down, right? I will limit the amount of my loss. Now, let's say that it continues to go up. Well, if it continues to go up, let's say it goes to 40 sats, okay? Let's say this baby pops up to 40 sats, all right? So let's go down to 40. That means that the order I placed at 10% would dynamically move up to 36 sats. So I would lock my profits in at 36 sats. Let's say it goes to 50 sats, okay? My order would move to 45 sats, meaning that if all of a sudden it dropped down to 45 sats, it would dynamically put the order in and it would sell and it would protect me from losses but the most important part is it locks in your gains so back to here and then you just hit cancel and it cancels so I can cancel that order as well if I don't want that order in right so this site is trailingcrypto.com, super easy to use. It's free. There are some limitations on the amount of orders. Like if you're a professional trader, you'll probably have to upgrade your account to um, a little higher um, status. But basically, you go into your settings, and that's where you manage your API for your exchange. 
they do support multiple exchanges. Um, so that's it. That's how you lock in your gains. You use a trailing stop. In Binance, Bitrix, they don't have it. So you use this site with the API and boom, you're good to go. And then obviously your next question is, how do I set up my API? Well, you log in to your exchange of choice and you generate a API trading key. Now, just keep in mind you are safe, your funds are SAFU, because the API key you want to select that it does not have withdrawal. So from the trailing crypto side, you click on settings and you select your exchange and then you enter your API key and your secret and hit save. That's all there is to it. It's super easy to use and like I said, it locks in your gains and minimizes your chance of loss. Now, as stated in the video, um, it could drop significantly right out of the gate. But I do believe there are a lot of people that are hodling um, and think that this is going to continue to go. And if you look here, look at the buy pressure. Um, it looks like there's a lot of buy pressure, but the technical analysis saying sell, but you know, this thing is too young to really uh, do that. This thing could do anything up to the point of the airdrop and you should trade it in that manner. So hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Be sure to subscribe, link, turn on bell notifications for the latest greatest. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Mm -hmm.